the conversation in Buffalo over the past few weeks has been whether or not fans will be allowed to attend playoff games. We were getting to the point where if it was going to happen, it needed to happen soon because the first playoff game to be hosted by the Buffalo Bills since December 1996 is coming up on January 9 or January 10. The announcement was made today. The Bills will have 6,700 fans at their first playoff game. It's less than 10% capacity. They're concerned about common areas. They're concerned about restrooms. They're concerned about keeping people apart. Every fan will be tested before the game. You have to be negative. There's going to be contact tracing after the game. Masks are required. Physical distancing is required. New York is taking this seriously. But they found a way to let a select few of the Bills Mafia attend the game. And I have a feeling that those tickets are going to go for a lot of money, but you're not getting in. Wouldn't that be something? You spend a lot of money for the ticket, but you don't get in because you tested positive in whatever window the testing requirement will apply. And here is Josh Allen, the Bills quarterback, who has taken to the Bills mafia the way that they have taken to him. That relationship was even solidified by the donations made during the season when his grandmother, Patricia Allen, died and all of that money that flowed into Children's Hospital. Allen is already committed to being a Bill for life. The fans love him. Here's Allen with his message to the Bills fan base. Bills Mafia, what's up? I'm excited to let you guys know we are going to be allowed to fans in our first playoff game. Super excited for it. I want to thank all the parties involved. Obviously, the Pagulas, Governor Cuomo, everybody else involved. Thank you so much. Let's please follow guidelines, wear your mask in the stands so we can have you guys for the rest of the way. Go Bills. And the 6,700 fans isn't all that many, but it's still 6,700 fans. It adds some energy and excitement to the stadium, and it's dramatically better than no fans at all. It was T.J. Watt who explained to me this past weekend after the Steelers came back and beat the Colts that they have to constantly come up with their own energy at Heinz Field, that giant, vacant, yellow-seated monstrosity that just looks bizarre with no one there. 6,700 will be enough to generate some energy and get some positivity. And to get some positivity into this show, let's bring in Shireen Williams. Hello, Shireen. The Bills with 6,700 fans, I think a lot more dangerous than the Bills at home with no fans. Yeah, and they've lost one home game this year, Mike, and that was to Kansas City. And they're not obviously not going to play Kansas City at home in the playoffs, but they hope that they end up going to Kansas City t- to the championship game. And to do that, they'll get a couple, couple of home games. They hope they get that number two seed and – get to host whoever comes to them for the divisional round. So it's big, though. It's going to be cold. We we know that. And now there's going to be some noise in there, too. Mike, that's a really tough place to play anyway. But having just 6,700 fans, I think, is going to make it even tougher for whoever has to go in there in whatever rounds. The Bills keeping the cards close to the vest on whether or not they're going to play starters this weekend when a win would nail down the number two seed. A loss by the Steelers would give the Bills the number two seed as well. But there's no guarantee the Steelers are going to lose, even with Mason Rudolph at quarterback because of the ongoing COVID issues with the Cleveland Browns. We'll be talking about that coming up for now, though. The Bills, I continue to believe the most dangerous team currently in the NFL. It could change. And that's one of the reasons why I think they should go all out this weekend. Continue to build momentum. Continue to show everyone else, but more importantly yourself, that you're a dominant team and you are going into the playoffs on a high note and you are ready to beat anyone. You know, I think that they are no longer content to just get to the playoffs. This is the year they try to take it next level. Having those fans there, Shireen, will help. The big challenge is, can they get back to their fifth Super Bowl? Now, it would be helpful, number one, if they could avoid the Ravens in the wild card round, which I'm sure they're very cognizant of that possibility. Number two, if someone else would take care of the Chiefs for them so the Bills would have an easier path to the Super Bowl. But I don't think they want easy. I think they want to take on anyone and everyone to show that they've arrived. And I believe as of now they have. Things can change, but as of right now, if they would play anyone tonight, I think the Bills would beat them. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.